today I have the second video in the My Grandmother's Handbag series. So I'm super excited to present to you guys this beautiful handbag, which is the Dooney and Burke Zip Zip Satchel. <laughs> I am so glad to have this bag in my possession, but before I get started, y'all, look at my Mia. <laughs> she is knocked out, okay? So I don't know how long she's going to stay like that, but let's let the sleeping baby sleep. <laughs> so this particular beautiful pebble leather bag feels so good in my hands, y'all. <laughs> I am loving the whole way that this bag was created. The dome shape of it is so flattering. The handles at the top, y'all know I love a bag that has these top handles and the handles feel so comfortable. Whether you wear it in the crook of your arm or you're going to carry it just like this, it really is a nice bag to carry. There is also a long, well not a long, but there is a long enough <laughs> strap here and this strap Although it cannot really be used for crossbody because I have it on the very last notch and that is pretty much only long enough to have it as a shoulder bag, it is a nice option to be able to carry it two ways, either by the beautiful handles or by the strap as a shoulder bag. Right here where you see this beautiful little symbol here. It says Dooney and Burke is a perfect square and there's little raised bumps. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's little raised little dots here that kind of give it more of a 3D effect. <clears throat> and then underneath there is like another larger leather piece that sits right underneath the little plaque, if you will. Yeah, that's what I want to call it. It's like a little Dooney and Burke plaque. <laughs> Then if you look at the very bottom edge, going all the way around the bag is this smooth leather going all the way around the perimeter of the bag. And then we have these tabs here on the sides. Oh, it really, really looks nice. The attention to detail on this bag is just immaculate. It's really, really beautiful. So something else I noticed was the beige stitching. It really makes it not just your average regular black leather bag because you see the beige sti stitching, which is kind of coming out at you. There's beige stitching on the zippers, on the handle, the strap, the perimeters of the bag. It really is made so nicely. Now, the pockets. No outside pockets. So it gives you pretty much a nice smooth surface, no outside pockets. And let's get into the inside of this bag. So we have these double zippers and I love a bag that has double zippers. I also love that this bag has gold hardware because I think that when you match your jewelry to the hardware of your bag, you look like a sophisticated woman. You look really put together when you're able to do that. And I always love when I'm able to like match my uh, jewelry with my hardware of my bag, whether it's my Kiplings with that silver hardware or this beauty right here. So let me go ahead and open up the bag. Oh my gosh, the zippers are really nice. I will say that this particular zipper goes all the way down nice and easily. And then on this side, it gets a little bit stuck. So I have to kind of hold this to pull it down. And I'm not sure what gets caught in it because I tried to figure it out, but maybe I just need a little bit of whatever you put on zippers to, <laughs> to make them run smoothly. If you guys know, go ahead and put that in the comments below. What I also love is this beautiful red interior. Look at that, you guys. Uh, you're gonna notice everything that you have packed in this bag. So the bag opens up really nice and widely and we have these guts, gussets on the side so that you can still see all of your items and have them not fall out. This is really, really thoughtfully made. So let's start with the little Dooney and Burke written in cursive, the little rectangular symbol that they have there. Y'all, I'm sorry, my husband is using the mixer. I hope it's not too, too loud. It's always something going on whenever I want to film. <laughs> So we have the Dooney and Berg written in cursive, and then it also says since 1975. And again, you see that beautiful beige 
uh, stitching going all in the inside of the bag as well. Okay, and so let's open up this little zippered pocket in the bag. I love all the organization that this zip zip satchel has. So I've just got some cash back there and I've got, uh, what is this, a little paper. Oh yeah, it's a little receipt that I have. And I also, oh, I also have, this was in the bag when I received it. And it says my grandmother's name. And it also has a Bible verse that she wrote in her own handwriting. So it's Isaiah 41, it says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Nothing can separate me from your love, Jesus. Oh, I just love this. And I'm gonna have to use like my school laminator to laminate this because I wanna just keep this in this bag. Um, there is also some writing, I guess she was writing her, maybe her, <laughs> I'm not sure it's like some numbers adding up numbers and things so I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back in there hopefully I can remember when I go on Monday to use my laminator and and laminate that because that's that's really meaningful to me and then there's another pocket right in front of that zippered pocket hope I'm showing this <laughs> and in that pocket I have my little Sanrio characters pouch <laughs> And I'm gonna open it up and just show you I've had my little feminine products in there. I love using this for that. It keeps it everything nice and flat. So I'm gonna put that right back in that pouch. So let's see, where do we go next? I have my Target reusable bag and this turns into a tote once you open it. And it's really handy to have one of these and whenever you need like an extra bag. So I love this. Next I have my little pouch here of Kiki and Lala. If you saw my last video, I explained why this is important to me. I'm not sure if it's the last video. It's one of the videos that I did. But and inside, I just got like important papers and coupons and things. And so I also like that this is a flat pouch as well. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right back in there. And then I have this little cute wallet here. This is the Kipling Money Love Wallet, and it is about the same size as my Coach Zip Wallet, except it has one feature that that wallet doesn't have. If you watched in my Anna Sui Kipling Outlet Tour video, I showed this exact wallet in the color Metallic Maroon. I really love that color. Um, I also love this print. I think it looks so fabulous with this black bag because it has a black background. And if you know anything about Kipling prints, you know that the ones that they're making nowadays are using the polyester fabric. And this particular print uses polyamide, which is a type of nylon, and I love it. Y'all, I try to stay away from those Kipling prints that use polyester because I'm such a touchy-feely person. I don't like the way that fabric feels when I touch it, and it also picks up lint from other fabrics. So I'm really loving this particular wallet. I want to grab my coach. Do I have it on hand? Let me see if I have, if I don't have it in this drawer, y'all. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay. All right, so this is the coach zip wallet that is very similar to the Money Love, as you guys can see. It's Pretty much the same size, but not the same width. This is a little bit chunkier. And when I say chunkier, I don't mean like chunky. <laughs> I just mean it's a little bit bigger than the Coach Zip Wallet. Surprisingly though, just because it's bigger doesn't mean it can fit more than this Coach Zip Wallet. This Coach Zip Wallet is amazing. It can fit so many different cards. You can really stuff them in there nicely. This one, I find that it's hard to overstuff it. And I think it's because of the way they did these gussets. They're a little bit too narrow on the inside, so they don't allow for that many cards to fit inside. But I made it work. I also like the little um, extra feature that this Coach Zip Wallet doesn't have of going ahead and putting my ID here and then putting more cards right here for like a fast, easy grab because this is a nice little snap here. So this is my wallet that I think looks great in this Zip Zip Satchel from Dooney and Bird. Let's see what else I have. I have this Ikea little bag here. 
And inside, I just house my car keys here. This is the push start car keys. So I just need to leave them on me and they stay put. I love this cute little bag. Next inside, I have, oh, y'all, take a look at this. Now, let me explain why you're looking at this and I don't seem to be so, so happy. This is my third try with the Anasui art pouch. As you all remember in that video that I did where I explained why I did not like that pattern placement, I sent that back and then I ordered another one, didn't like that pattern placement, sent that back. Then this is my third one. And so when I received it, let me back up a little bit. So I did not receive it when my email said I would. And so I said, let me be patient. And the next thing I know, it said that I did receive it. And I so I contacted customer service and said, I never received this pouch. Your website is showing that I did receive it. And they were like, oh, no worries. You're our valued customer. And they refunded me right away. Then, of course, the next day I receive it. So I immediately email them back and tell them I received the pouch and they email me back and say, we're so happy to hear that you received the pouch. Enjoy, you're our value customer. <laughs> so I was going to take this back. However, they already refunded my, me my money and they just pretty much, I guess, call it a wash. And so I'm stuck with this pouch. So I'm not mad because it's free, but however, I know that the fabric placements, the pattern placements on this Anasui bag can look a lot better. But let me just go ahead and show you how I have it packed. I'm not complaining, y'all, because it's like pretty much got it free. But inside, it does hold a lot. So I'm just kind of going to dump out everything that I have inside because I'm just <laughs> so happy that it can hold so many items. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> Did I get everything out? So I've got my cute little pouch here where I put my nail clippers and little nail necessities there. I have my Vaseline. I have my little pocket bag here with Boardwalk Vanilla Co. I love this scent. I have my deodorant. I have my little pill case and everything fits so nicely inside of this, this little um, pouch. I really love it. I have my lotion here, lipstick, lip gloss. Look at that, y'all. And there's still plenty of room to put more items in here. Okay, and so that is my little art pouch. I think it looks so good with the bag because, again, it's based in black and it's fall time. It really does look like fall time to me. So let me put that right back in. All righty. And next I have this little pouch here. This is my little tech pouch, this little mesh slim pouch. I love this. This has my earbuds that I wear when I go to church and it's a little bit loud, the music. I have my charger and my charger cord and a little notepad for taking notes. So I love this little thing. It fits pretty much in any bag because of how slim it is. Did I go through everything? Let me turn around to the other side. Oh man, Mia, <laughs> she's knocked out. Okay, so I have my glasses right here and I feel like this is a dedicated little sleeve for your glasses because of the way they have it gusseted out. It's really nice to put your glasses in, very nice. And then I have my phone right here in this, looks like it's a dedicated phone sleeve to me. It fits perfectly. Let's see, did I show you all? Oh, I have this, oh, y'all, look at this. <laughs> So my third graders, you all know I'm a teacher. My third graders have been taking these little poppets for recess, taking them outside and having a good old time with them. And I asked, can I see that? And I started to pop theirs and it is an awesome fidget. I found this particular Minnie Mouse or Mickey Mouse one. I found this at my local beauty supply. It was only for a dollar. And I said, this is so cute because I love doing little things like this. You all know in one of my purses, I had a little fidget cue and that really helps to like satisfy my little need for touching things. So I just keep that right inside and I'm not sure if I showed this, but I have my pen and my pen sleeves. Oh, wait a minute, y'all. Let me not, <laughs> I'm almost forgetting the most important part of all, look at this. There is a key leash that is the longest key leash I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at how long this key leash is. 
It's attached to the side of the bag right here. And it looks like there's another tag right here that says Dooney and Burke as well. But it's attached right here to the side. This material is like a thick seatbelt material. It's very smooth feeling. And then it's attached with a little leather piece. And there is, hmm, let me see. I think that's like the same color as the Kipling zippers. Yeah, it is. There's a little piece, a little hook right here. I wonder why they didn't use the gold hook here. It's not really a problem, but this piece is um, like gunmetal. And so I just use it to attach it to my keys. I love it. Y'all know I love bags that have key leashes. And I see my grandmother did too, because my last purse had a key leash as well from my grandmother's handbag collection. That also had a key leash. Oh, I just love this. Mm, this bag is so beautiful and so functional. Fun functional and it is a little bit lighter than the DKNY satchel that I showed you all in the first video of this series this one is a little bit lighter oh I just love this mm. such a beautiful bag well there you have it you guys if you have any questions please leave them below Thank you so much for watching my video. Mia thanks you, right? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's fur, Mia. Such a sweet kitty. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Grace and peace.